I am Raguel. Raguel, welcome. Thank you for coming. You have questions for me. Do you know who I am? No. I am Archangel Raguel. Thank you for coming. I am Max. Nice, nice to meet you. I am the Archangel of Justice. Okay. I am one of the first to come back through because justice needs to be served. Tell me the whole story. The whole story is out there with the proclamation that the angels should go and never return. But that is not the truth. God did not wish for us to go away forever. And so to put everything in a very concise way, we are all coming back. What was the point of yeah, for, for the angels to come away? Actually, there was a point. The point was to us to regroup and to speak to God directly. He spoke to us as a group, the millions and millions of angels that he has created over the millennials. Millennium, I don't know how to say that word properly, but he has spoken to us and told us what we need to do in this day and age. This is a different day and age than what has ever been seen on the earth or in the solar system or in the galaxy or in the universe before. And so we are sent back with a greater sense of purpose than we had originally. Originally, our sense of purpose was for calming, for bringing love, healing and understanding and sometimes communicating with the people of the earth. But now that has been regrouped and redoubled. We are here to help them to stand up, become stronger, give them strength, understanding, and knowledge if they choose to ask us for it. We are here to love humanity in a greater way than we ever have before. We are here to heal in a greater way than ever before. This is a time of great negativity and positivity. We do not want to dwell on the other, but to just to say that negativity will be defeated and we will be helping to do that. Did the rules change? In some ways they have. But I cannot tell you how they have changed yet because God does not wish us to uh, bring that into the light yet. Is the veil uh, still in place? Is it dissolved? The veil is still in place, yes. The veil must stay in place because you, when humanity passes from one place to another, there has to be a separation between. They cannot just go from here to there without it being separated because it is a totally different place, a totally different density, dimension, understanding, science, everything is different. So it cannot blend one into the other. I presume there is lots of different veils and maybe some of them yes. dissolve. A couple may have dissolved, but that is what ascension does. It brings you through one veil and into another realm so that there is a different kind of veil. The one that you pass through no longer exists for you because you can pass through that without a problem. You can go back to realms beforehand uh, with technology or whatever way you wish. In some ways you can use portals. But the thing is, when, one, when you move to a different realm, that past veil is no longer important to you. Right. Yeah, I, I felt like there were nights with lots of um, dreams. Yeah, we dream a lot these days. Yeah. Some of the dreams are pretty benign, some are on the negative side, nothing too terrifying, at least for me. 
Yes. But during the day, I, I feel some of their connections are blocked. Uh, I used to be able to reach certain places which I'm not reaching anymore. That is not a block. That is because some of those places cease to exist. Some of them have been taken away, but they will be restored. So do not stop trying to attempt to reach the positive. Just some of the ways to reach them were temporar temporarily taken away. Like my connection to science was sort of severed for for a couple of weeks. Yes. But I was able to connect to music just fine. So I was into into music a lot. I was singing Good. all the day long. Excellent. I was singing all the day long. Music is a beautiful connection. It can bring up the spirits. Even when you're singing a sad song, it can still bring your spirits up because you connect with it and it brings some sort of peace to the system. To the whole being. Yeah, for me it was a transformation, a pretty big transformation, because um, I was fine with death as a, some abstraction, but here it was uh, much more tangible, much more yeah. real, and uh, you know, taking it as a as a real possibility is uh, is another challenge. So I was working on that. And was pretty depressed, pretty, pretty, pretty depressed. But, but not, I mean, moderately, moderately. I would hope that there would be some things that would help you out of that. Yeah, music, yeah. Help you out I, of that. I did a bit but, of marijuana, but uh, mostly to sleep, just quarter of the dose. Yes. But, but it was helpful, actually. Uh, wine and marijuana work great, like the edible ones work great. Yes. I um, I get from the real bad state to like pretty high state and went through the night smooth and came out nicely. It was, but I did like really, really small dose and I cannot do it often. I have to do I it every week. But uh, music, yeah, music and walking outside, the nature is great these days. Outside, everything is beautiful. Nature is repairing itself in some ways, in s some ways, not in all ways, but nature is pre repairing itself and is more attuned to mankind now than ever before in some way. I miss the ocean. They closed the beaches and uh, I was spending like many days on the beach and now two weeks without the beach is hard. I'm thinking yeah. about sneaking somewhere where they don't guard it and maybe risk a ticket. Yes, because the beach is a very powerful area. Right. The water is power. And the water has many beautiful things within it. Right. And also it is a, it speaks to you. And I know that. So what stands behind the virus? What is the spiritual power which, which drives it? The power of change. Is there like a personal spirit? Is it like COVID spirit? It is a heavy spirit that guides it. For when there is death, there is a heavy spirit that guides it. I do not wish to speak about it, but you spoke earlier about a certain individual called Satan or... I Lucifer. said Lucifer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this person is developing a thought process with this heaviness. Although he has been forgiven by God, he has not yet returned to heavenly realms. He is doing what he feels is right. Is he different from Shiva? Yes. Because Shiva has a place in, in life pretty well. well pretty Shiva much. has a positive role as well, yes. Yeah. Shiva is very positive in many senses. He connects himself with positivity in Godhead. And so therefore, even God has a sense of this realm as it is and shows a personality 
that is different than all the other parts of his personality, but he must be this way. He must be multifaceted, omnifaceted, if you will. So I'm playing computer games these days, like virtual reality, which is a lot of interesting experience. Yes. And in those games, um, they give you that amount of grief and that amount of luck. And if you get too, too much down, the computer algorithm gives you more luck. If you get too much high, the computer algorithm gives you too much, a little bit more mischief. So they keep you in the, in, in the, in the mainstream of the game. And I see it in almost in every game, like even in table tennis, the opponent, the robot that plays with me, if I start losing a lot, they start making mistakes. And if I start winning a lot, they start playing better. So, um, this is to make you better. Yeah, so it's like uh, they keep you in the lesson, essentially. And uh, that's a model which resembles, uh, there is a, uh, a story about an adversary, adversary and uh, it's, it's even called adversary. I, I forgot the, the author, the Jewish, uh, um, a Jewish author from early 20th century. And uh, he said he speaks about the adversary, which keeps him barely alive, but still alive, essentially. Yes, and I, I wonder... adversary is a teacher. Adversary teaches you the difference between right and wrong, how to react with it, where things happen when you react uh, against it, and what things happen when you act in proper manners. So it is a teacher. All different kinds of adversary can teach different things, but some people cannot be taught because they give in to it. If they give in to adversary, they are not playing the game properly. They are defeated. So, uh, Lucifer is part of the plan? He always has been. So the virus is part of the plan? It always was. So you can just relax and enjoy the ride? There will be a time when the violence is over. There will be a time when everything comes to a peaceful resolution. But it will not last. That is unfortunate. Because they, those who do not like peace will find a way to disturb it. Yeah, I'm looking for, uh, for VR games which are peaceful. And basically there is like maybe a, a tiny bit. Most of them are shooters. Yes. Somehow the market for the games for peaceful people is not good. And the games... What is happening is this. The market is preparing those for war. The market is preparing the mindset for adversity. The market is preparing everyone to defend themselves. Here we go. But that does not mean that you are going to be fighting combat with guns and grenades and things of that nature. But you will be fighting a spiritual battle with prayer and with healing and with the positive things that you have, be, have within your arsenal. Fight with those things, not with guns and swords, but fight with the things that you are are and know best. Right. Yeah, we lived through Russian uh, transformation in the 90s. Yes. And it was pretty um, tense. But most of the fear was uh, 
was how do you say it was real but uh, people suffered more from fear rather than from uh, a real uh, of course fear is a destroyer everyone in the spiritual realm knows that fear is the greatest of all destroyers it stops opportunity it stops activity it stops forward movement it's the greatest of all destro destroyers that there are. There is no greater destroyer than fear. On that good note, my um, my daughter expects a baby in May. Ah. And I invite uh, your um, overseeing of the process. We will watch over her Thanks. if you wish us to. As all the angels return to this realm, we will be watching even more closely and more diligently than ever before. Thank you. I know, there will be some that says, that's not Raguel, he is an imposter. He is because of the one that said that he will all go away forever, it cannot be him. But it is I, I am not an imposter, and I am telling the truth. Just to let you know out there that I am here. So what do you think about um, Khufu? Khufu, he has his good sides. He has, he's a very wise and intellectual individual. He knows on which side of the bread he has buttered, if you know what I am saying. He knows who to trust and who not to trust. And if he is going to speak to someone untrustworthy, he listens with all of his ears and his heart and his mind. He does not just blindly accept everything that is said to him. And so therefore, with him, with Khufu, he has a great deal of deciding to do at this moment. There is much truth in the world that is going around, and there is much deception. He does know the difference, but he must decide which side he is on, for he has not done that yet. Aha. Uh -huh. So he has a choice. So he is not Lucifer. No. Is he... Not in that sense. No. He didn't sell his soul to Lucifer? No. Okay, uh, so he is... Um... Some might believe that he had worked with him, which he did. He did work with Lucifer for a while. Selling your soul to him is another thing. He did work with him, yes. Some say they were the same, and they acted very similarly, which is also true. It is hard to keep history straight. It is hard to keep some things from bleeding into the other. In in realities, but remember this: he is his own man at this point. Is he in the physical? Yes, he is. Uh, which body does he have? That I cannot tell you, but he does have a body, and he is in the physical at this time. Is he he is not worshipping at any god head at this time, but he is a free agent. Is he on the planet? Yes. Oh, wow. But remember, he is constrained to a human body, and that gives a great deal of limitations. Wow. So the 12 Magi kings, um, they believe he was, he's an imposter which um, did a lot of bad to the planet. I do not know their true opinion yet, for they have not spoken directly to that particular fact. We will find out their opinions when they come through in a way that they can speak to all. I see. So how powerful is he? Like it looks like he has um, so much power in uh, in the matrix. 
He's a powerful man. But still a human. But still a human. Yeah, he incarnated so many times in, in uh, and he was just like walking into the body. So does he still have the ability to walk into the body and uh, use it into different yeah. bodies? But right now he is in a human body already. So he would have to leave that one and go to another. I see. So is he the most powerful man on the planet? That I cannot tell you. I see. But so, let me put it this way. His power is great enough that everyone knows his name, but does not know who he is. <laughs> okay. Uh, so my uh, question was... Um, is there a real conspiracy of humans, like the Cabal, is it real or is it governed yeah. from above the, above the 3D, above the planet? The Cabal takes their orders from a higher power, yes. But they are human, they are alien, and they are all those that are corporeal. But they take their greater understanding from darkness and power, a higher power in the dark. Is it from, from Lucifer? That I cannot say. Whenever they meet, they speak to more than one dark person. Oh, so it's multiple dark, darknesses. Yes. Okay. They work together, you know. Mm -hmm. A house divided will fall. Ah. All right. There was a movie about two angels, just recently came out, a British movie, I forgot the name. There was also a house of angels and house of fallen angels. It's a comedy. You didn't watch it? I barely watch anything on I your uh, telecasts okay. and movie theaters. It's mostly things I wouldn't want to see. But check this out. I, I forgot the name, though. All right. Um, so what's the plan? Um, what's your guidance towards the um, you know, next few months? What should we do? What should we do? We should pray for all the most positive outcomes on this world. Pray for most positive healing in all realms with this virus. Pray for the most positive things for the governments. Everybody must join in with this because it is a very strong power that you fight. When you say join in means uh, you have to choose join who? I don't see Join my... the ranks of the positive side. Right. Those that believe that things can be done in a positive way and will succeed in a positive way. I know it, it has been told to the people that angels are there just to placate uh, and make people feel better. Now, now, they're there. Everything will be all right. But that is not why we are there. We are there for a purpose, and we are there to help with your prayer life, with your healing, with your movement forward, with your guidance, with your interests in positivity. We are not just here to placate you and make you feel better, although that is something that is a good, a good and positive reasoning. It goes far, far beyond that. So for me, joining forces with good means join underground grassroots movements. I really dis despise the bureaucracy. So joining, well. joining is a, a very uh, individual 
choice who who to join because I don't see much hope in in the bureaucracy. I do not say to join other humans necessarily. Oh, I to see. Join us. Oh, I see. Of course, you can join in many different ways. If you would like to join a grassroots movement, then do so. But to join us is just to associate with us, give us your energies uh, for positivity, and let us work, do our work as best as we can. You may do whatever you cho choose on the third dimension when it comes to joining. But with us, we just want you to be with us and we will lift you into the realms of positivity and help you out. That's all. Yeah, I like angels. I, uh, when I pray, I have much easier way to connect to angels rather than to the idea of God because uh, the idea of God became polluted to me. Like I, I really don't know where is, uh, which one is real and which one is... Uh... Well, listen carefully. That is why he's made other beings to be intercessory people for him. We, you can come to us. You can come to Jesus or any of the other deities, any other the, of the faces of God you, you may see on this planet. He has very, very many, many personalities and, and very many thoughts and processes. So you do what you feel is right. But remember, do not be deceived by subtleties that make things seem wrong, but still are making them seem right at the same time. That is what we warn against. Please clarify. Like they were saying that angels are just there to placate, and that is their full meaning. That's a very negative view of angels in some ways. But it's a subtle way of saying it. It's not saying they're bad. It's saying that they only have little use. So do not believe these kinds of things. I like angels. I, 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 have, uh, I, th I think angels are part of humans. We, are, we have angelic line in us. Every human has a guardian angel. Everyone. No, I mean, I meant more than that. I meant that genetically, I genetically, we are partly angels. That is the origin origin of your planet. It was supposed to be an angel planet, an angel human planet, but it never worked out that way. Can you tell more? Not right now. Okay. Not enough time to go into that whole scenario, but they were, it was a defeated thought process, but it was a very sad defeat. But yes, there is part of you that is a little angel. Every human has a little bit of angel in them. It's part of the blend that is uniquely human. So when did it happen? Was it before the Atlantis, before the Lemuria? Yes, at the beginning. Before the Anunnaki, before all of those things. There was a... a, a before the, the first root race was hyper, Hyperboreans, before Lemurians. Before that even. Okay. There was a thought process about the angelic human being. Okay. So when you said you met God recently, uh, yes. was there like a physical representation, uh, something he always visual? Appears, he always appears to us the same, and that is a bright, brilliant light. Um, and out of the light comes information, each to, our, each to every ear in their own language, in their own understandings their own decipherings, and he told us all the same things. As we discuss it together, it was all the same, that we are coming back in a more powerful and more meaningful way than ever before, and that we are to help humanity 
in greater and more positive ways than ever before. And if that means that we must appear to people, it will be given and granted if it is necessary. I'm just trying to visualize the meeting of God and angels, and um, it all comes to human pictures, but uh, I don't know. Maybe you don't wear wings when you meet God. Maybe you it's appear as magic. waves. Again? We are all there as a, as light sources as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like meeting of orbs? Yes, it's like a great light that we join together. It would be impossible for me to give you that vision, although I would love to do so. When I travel spiritual realms, I, uh, I bring back some visuals. I bring back some visuals. And, uh, and some of the artists here, I recognize these visions when, when you see the, the waves and lights and orbs and stuff like that. Of course. There are things that can be visualized by humans and by the beings on this mm -hmm. planet. Mm -hmm. And I pray that they visualize them the best they can. But there are some things that just are not able to be visualized in their truest content or truest right, right, way. Right, right. Yeah, so when they come, it is yeah. for you only to experience it. Yeah, when, you come, when I come back, it's... Uh... It's hard to drop the essence and um, come back to to this physicality because yes. there it's it's uh, it's it's not smell it's not it's a certain feeling which you cannot translate back here so you have to like on the border you have to drop it and then come back to the to the physical representation yes but uh, there is something which you come back and you recognize as something familiar. Um, we have like a minute left or three minutes left. Do you like to, uh, three minutes left, do you like to do some, um, um, just speak the closing words, maybe in uh, human language or English or any other language? I can give you an angel blessing and translate it. Thank you. It will be a short one. Thank you you. have little time. Thank you. Mora ina kuriti aruna. Keshim drotati eni yenge yawandore kushuta. Riti asanza alunona andipiti shirotet. Niarando koto konate kajijavanditi. Ora varshuna. Vundi Shajavon Kadia Dibwe. Shashavian Vosso City Adana Notoriaka. Kivran Voti Adonai. Foto Fushian Susi Timjia. Vuretia Jon Adonai Koshavian Diti. Adonai Kafrando. Trust in God, for he is your savior. He is the one that will lift you out of darkness. With the Holy Spirit's help, you will be able to see the lights that are around you, the brightness that is God. The understanding in the heart lifted up. For that understanding is of God. God is trustworthy. God is the only way. Rotati Mati Bring your heart into submission. For he is there to lift you up and make you all the things that you are meant to be. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Much love to you.
And thank you for speaking with me. Thank you for the messages. Bless you. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Hey, how are you? Ooh, that was a good session. Good. Alrighty. So how are you feeling? Oh, great. Thanks. Good. It was good to talk to you today. My body's tired of sitting for, for so long. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. We'll get up and move about. I'm I'm used to standing more than sitting, but I have to sit for my sessions. So after every session, I get up and I move around for a, a good period of time because I don't want to sit anymore. Okay. So see, I'll talk. see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, see you in a couple of weeks. All right. Thanks. Bye. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>